something broke off. That might have been the axle. <laughs> I was recording that, by the way. Man! <laughs> Mangled this car, dude. I can't believe we got this out. This thing's been sitting at the bottom of the river for quite a long time. If you like seeing old cars come out the river, subscribe and keep watching. It's going to be great. Woo! I'm Adam Brown. And I'm Jeremy, AKA Nug. We search the rivers and lakes across America for wrecked vehicles underwater. You wouldn't know it by just looking, but there's thousands out there and everyone tells a story. Insurance fraud, stolen, accidents. It's our mission to search for the missing, find vehicles and remove them from harming our environment. This is Wrecked and Recovered. So what do you know about a bidet? <laughs> Dude, I have a bidet. You do have a bidet? Yeah, there's a bidet in the RV. I have never used a bidet. I love it because it cleans your bum and you don't have like quite a mess with the toilet paper. It sounds and really messy though. It's not, it hoses off your bum and you're, you're poo free. Uh, it's and like it's a great. super soaker. Well, you don't go full throttle because like, then you're gonna whoa! give yourself, yeah. You get an enema that way. There's a lot of power coming out of these things. I feel like, I don't know. I love it. I'm curious on how many other people have bidets in their house. They're, you know they I have I don't bidets. have one, maybe it's the future of toilets. It's, it's been around, it's a thing. <laughs> we just, uh, the us folk are so uptight. But after I tried it, I'm like, oh, I can't go back. No? No, it cleans, it cleans it way better than just scrubbing your butt raw with a toilet paper. It's pretty You can funny. like wash your dishes while you use the bathroom. Oh, <laughs> maybe. If you're hurting, I guess, but whatever. So what are we doing today, man? We're back in Knoxville. Uh, we found a car last time we was here, and uh, we found two. And we pulled out the Golf, and we decided to sit on this one and come back today and pull it out. This is a mystery car. It is a mystery car. There still is a missing person that we, we looked for in our other videos. Yeah. And uh, we didn't find her, but found a bunch of cars too. So who knows what this car could be? I don't think it's going to be her, but but we'll definitely know once we dive on it. But yeah. we're assuming this is just another junk car. We're going to pull it out of the water. And I don't know what's going on with this river, but it's like five freaking feet lower than it was when we was here. Yeah, this is uh, impressive. I don't know if this is going to help or hurt us. We'll have to get out here and uh, yeah. see. Yeah, the car is upside down, so that's always fun. But we might be able to slide this thing up closer to the boat ramp and then kind of flip it and, and twist it and get where we want it. But uh, I think it'll be fun. It's cold and cloudy, which never makes it easy, but whatever. Freaking whatever. All right, man, let's go do it. Oh my God. <gasps> Oh, Text that, messaging, I'm so popular. What was that? Is that your wife? Probably. Wife to be? Oh, look at that dog's pooing. That dog is pooping. Man, I better pick up that poo. Maybe he should try using a bidet. <laughs> Whew, it's a little chilly, man. It's really cold, and I don't like it. And the water's less than admirable, but the goats are here to goats watch. Goats are, I don't know if you guys can see, I'll try to zoom in on the goats for y'all. There's goats on the island. I think we, you know what, they were there last time, but now they see us and they're yelling at us, but we're not here for the goats. Man, focus. Um, the water, as you guys can see, super, super low. I mean, this is ridiculous. Like, I can't even imagine anybody, it doesn't seem like it would get high enough. I mean, it drops off down here too. Yeah, we're I mean. We're gonna have a heck of a time getting this car out. Maybe, <laughs> it really depends. I mean, we can get the, the tow truck, I mean, right here. I mean, I, I think and we'll get like, it out. Yeah, it just really depends on where it's at. It, it might, might not be pretty. I think it'd be really cool if the car's right there. And then we just drag it up a little bit, flip it, and pull it out. Oh. Right here on the right here in this dirty part. The only problem is that stump. That's uh, that we might have problems with that stump. Maybe we pull the stump out first. The worst part about today is we can't use our nice little Terry boat. No, the water, I don't know what's going on. They shut the dam off. So the water is super <laughs> low and the boat ramps are in, in unusable. So, we have, so. To, we have to go back to our primitive inflatable yeah. thing. We just can't we can't is. escape those dang things, but whatever. <laughs> We don't have to use it that much today, so. Nah, just get in and It'll get be out. good. Hopefully ready? the car is right there. I'm ready. Ready? Ah. Go! <laughs> what was that? That's what you get. I was recording that, by the way. Man! And that is making it in the episode. That was a doozy of a, a big <laughs> step. Did you see that? And people say I'm the clumsy one. Totally missed that step. Uh. Your ball. Oh shit. 
<laughs> what is that? Chinese Buddhist stuff. Good little. Man, you got the eye. It's pretty fancy, isn't it? Coins. Mm. Some religious. We'll just throw this over there. Oh, we find lots of religious stuff. There's probably lots of stuff right here if you get really close. I'm gonna go backwards and find the car. Okay, where's the car? So that, you man. see it already? I think it's a little bit farther, which is actually good. See, I don't even know where I'm going though. Okay, here we go. Going in circles, I think. I know, I'm ba going backwards actually. Okay, we're gonna start over fresh and go up here. But... Is it a car in the truck though? It's a car that's upside down. It looks tiny. Does it? Yeah. I'm gonna go down a little ways more. My theory is that it launched off this cliff over here. All right, so now I guess we'll mark it. So I'm gonna get right over top of it. Yeah, I got the magnet here. Yeah. Don't go crazy. Lots of stuff down there to get hung up on. I think that's it. It's just, yeah, that's it. Okay, throw it neutral. Dude, that's that good. is a perfect spot for that car, if you think about it. Yeah. There's was like, shouldn't be anything in the way except that frame thing. I think it's an old boat dog, but it's wood. So it should just tear right through it. We got this mystery car, presumably car hooked. Oh, it's a car. It's upside, upside down. 10 feet? I already forget, but yeah, I think it's around 10 feet. So I guess it was a little deeper than I uh, thought. It definitely but... drops off a little bit. Yeah. I still think we'll be able to get, I mean, if anything, we'll just roll it up like we always do. If it gets hung up. Yeah, we can always roll it. <laughs> But we're gonna clear it as always, check the windows. You know, we always, we do take it seriously. Some people think just because we're goofy all the time. We check and clear the vehicles for any remains first. I am not goofy. <laughs> this is my serious just, this, well, is how, this is how I, this is how I get down. You were born this way. I was, born but, goofy. I like the place where the car is at though, because technically yeah. if we could bring it right here, I mean, we can get it just close enough to where the tires show that we could flip it in the water, drag it up the rest of the way. I think we could park up there where Red Truck is. And it'd be more angle to drag I mean, it up. If we have to. Well, I'm saying like it'd be a better angle to drag it over all this crap because it's pulling so, we'll start so down high. Here and then pull up there. Yeah, then we can pull it up onto the boat ramp <laughs> and then we'll move it, the wrecker, we might not and then just to, pull the rest of the way. But we'll see. I think we're gonna You need just to. like to make things difficult. I like to give people a show. So maybe you can get on board. <laughs> How about you get on gourd? What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> What is this thing? It's a it's a pumpkin is it of a gourd sorts. Or a pumpkin? It's a really weird spot for one. I don't get it. Kind of looks like your head. <laughs> Kinda. Looks like Stewie's After head. I step on it. Man, somebody put that there for a reason. I don't think so. All right, get suited up, man. I don't want to. Time to dive. We're definitely not going to make any real scuba divers cringe at what we do. Oh, I will. <laughs> I love doing that. Just email Jeremy. What, what's your email? Garrett Dork? No, no, it's uh, it's it's uh, Adam Brown Vlogs. No. What, what Jeremy, the... nobody wants to see those. This is the fun part about diving. Let's just change out a parking lot, show everybody. I my, gotta censor so much. My Actually, pasty whiteness. So little, I mean. Dude, I gotta just shave my bikini line. God. I don't care. I don't so, yeah. care. You get your thermals. I'm I, want, I want this to be a hype reel. Hype cue, reel? Cue the hype reel making Jeremy look like an awesome diver. Go. All right, man, what you thinking? I hate this part just because it's winter. It's not that cool I right mean, now. I mean, I'll be, once I get in the water, it's fun. But I'm getting, a, getting ready is what I don't like. Two weeks ago, it was freezing. Today, it's like, this is kind of more like what we're used to, cold. Yeah, it's cool. It's no fun. Well, we I'll got, do it. I don't care. I'm we got, scared. We got the rope tied around this log. It's like eh, 80 feet of rope, or give or take. 10 feet down. Give or take. So, uh. First, we're gonna he's find out what kind of car it is. If there's any license plate, you'll pull that up, right? I'll try. Yeah. It's upside down. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Why you ask those questions? Because I, I like asking this questions. This is what I do, baby. This is what I do, man. And if y'all watching have any questions throughout this, you know, leave a comment, your question, and then we'll try to answer some of your questions on each episode, maybe. Maybe. Like, where is Jeremy's life jacket? Yes, actually, uh, 
I was robbed and they took everything, including my life jacket. Yeah. Luckily, they left all my camera equipment. They said, yeah. you need to continue the mission, but I'm taking this life jacket. Yeah. I swear, I, swear I would never lie to the people. Never. Never. <laughs> so make sure to uh, leave a comment, you know. Also subscribe. Can't say that enough. Subscribe if you guys want to see more of these awesome videos. See, right here. Hopefully they're awesome. Be like, Ugh, just get in the water. <laughs> just go ahead. Okay. Just go, dude. Shut up. All right, cut to Jeremy <laughs> diving. Good, to Jeremy good luck. Diving. All right, Jeremy's been out there for about five, ten minutes. Looks like he's coming back now. You can always tell because he's yanking on the rope here, so we'll see what he has to say. Is that a Tennessee plate? It is a blue old Volvo 264 GL. Older. I mean, you see the tag is old. Yeah. Now, here's the thing that's got to be concerned. It is a, oh, it's a dealer tag. I was wondering, that's a magnet, actually. Oh. I wonder why it came off so easy. Somebody stole off the lot? I don't know. It's a dealer tag, so dealers would have it. Maybe that for a test drive. Here's the problem. All the windows are up. Really? And it's upside down. I'm concerned about that. And I don't know how cops would run this. Because a dealer tag, like, I don't know how dealer tags work. Well, do you want to try to flip it and then pull it up to keep the windows? That's the million dollar question. I'm nervous because all the windows are up. Well, let's search the number first. Yes, the problem is it's an auto, it's that dealer tag. I don't know what this, they, sh they should come back to the dealer. Oh, it's crumbling. Yeah, this thing's old. It's really old. I have about a foot of visibility, but with the current, well, I can pretty much see everything. Really? I just walk, I walked around two or three times. It's old. It's another one that's been there forever. I bet you that one down there, same way. It's old as dirt. Woo! All right, man, so what are you thinking here? So you, dove, you dove down on the car. We're gonna try our best to uh, keep it from not getting destroyed too much. Indeed, show indeed. me, Show me, show me with this. It's laying like that. In a nutshell, I'm gonna take this strap and we're gonna wrap it. I'm gonna loop it around the front wheels, bring it to a Y bridle, I guess you can call it. Yeah. And then we'll hook the cable directly onto that D-ring and start pulling it and hopefully with the angle it'll it'll just slide along until we get it pretty much just 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 below the water and then we can like use J hooks and flip it up on its wheels while it's still kind of underwater yeah and then hopefully it'll blow all these windows out in the, in the moment we get this thing out of the water we're gonna look in it much you know be actually be able to see everything chances are it's empty that's an old car. But the reality of what we do is people do go missing. You know, that is on our main channels. That's what we, we go searching for, so. This is another weird one because I had a dealer tag on it and all the windows are up. Somebody probably stole it from the lot or something. Yeah, but usually the dealer tag means um, mechanics will put that tag on the back of a car yeah. and take it for a test drive if they're working on stuff. So it's, it's weird that that would have ended up out here. There's always a story to these cars. I wonder if the dealer plate will make it easier or more difficult for the police to run this thing. Also, it might not even be in the records. And it's old. Yeah, being so like, that old. Regardless, it's, yeah, it's probably not. But we could find what dealership it, the plate went to. That'd maybe. be really cool. That'd be cool. We call there the dealership. There's like some paperwork with this car somehow inside. Yeah. We could go to the dealership and be like, I oh, mean, we found one of your cars. <laughs> like, My dealership's been closed for years. What are you talking about? So. Like, that was the car that ruined me. <laughs> So we do have a new winch line on the tow truck. Uh, we have two new ones. We're only going to try this first one for right now because this one is not pretty looking. We got a lot of comments. People uh, didn't Worried. like the frayed end. So brand it's new only, line. It's only broke free ones, so I think we're good. So these actually lock on. So uh, hopefully they don't come off when we take They'll them. Never come off. Got to be mentally prepared. You know what you're doing? Got a plan? 
I think it'll be fine. Now it's just trying to be careful, pulling slow, and as soon as we see it, you know, try to flip it, I say, before, you know, but we'll get to that point here in just a second. Lord, I see. I see. We goes to pull it. I want to, like, jump in your arms. Oh, you're here. Wait. Didn't you jump in my arms one time? I think I tried, and then you <laughs> dropped me. All right, man, chop, chop. The people want to see this. You're taking forever. It's the power of editing, man. Short this stuff down. No, we're doing raw. Raw footage. An hour later. <laughs> so you got it hooked up, you're good to go. So I'll just help you along. Yeah, probably be good. Did you see any of these uh, structures, the metal? Actually, there's something right here. It's wood, whatever it is. Is it? Put that in there and then we'll just, all I gotta do is just go down there and loop it around the tires and be done with it. Marvelous. Can you do that underwater? Yeah, did last time. All right, good luck. Godspeed. Out of these legs. I got skill. This thing's gonna break instantly. Just no. creep off. It's gonna last forever. All right, man, do you have enough length? Barely. <laughs> like, I had it around one wheel, and then I went to the other side of the car, and I mean, I was like, I don't know if you can see this wheel moving or this uh, wire. Yeah. Cable. That's what it is. But I was like, I had my feet on the car, and I was like, Hiya! and I was like pulling it over the tire. And there's, there's a dude, I, I tell you what, you'll see it. There's one strand of fishing line that is in my path. Oh, yeah. And it's braided and unbreakable. <laughs> and I kept getting hit on it. And I was like, this thing is killing me, dude. <sighs> but it's ready and there's really nothing in the way. Did it pop over something? Seems like it's still hooked up. I think it's just going over rocks. Okay. So it's moving. It's moving, yeah. Are you nervous? It doesn't seem like it's that, that big of a uh, stress on the tow truck. Oh yeah? Seems like an easy one. Are you having fun? I'm having fun because I'm not nervous yet. The front of the tow truck is not like this. Oh yeah, so, right. uh, Not yet anyways. Not yet. Give it time. Yeah, it's going over the rocks. Got a little bit of a hang up, I think. Yeah, like that. <laughs> I, think, I think it broke free. I wonder if it was the cable or the rope. I wonder if it ripped the whole front end off. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, let's use the uh, wire rope, I guess. It's got to be a lot closer, though. Oh, look, it's your it's your hairbrush. I saw that. Hey, buddy. <laughs> look at this crap, dude. It's like a death trap. I'll just make a loop on one end. I'll come together. And bring them together. Yeah, that'll work. He's got a old car. Uh, well, it's a good Probably quite a while. That's old Volvo. Good. You good? I am, but oh my goodness! <laughs> How long have we been down there? Again? <laughs> How does it, the car look? Windows still intact? I didn't look. Oh. All right. Well, now it's not going to break. At least the no. We had some hang-ups. You had to go down there and fix it. But I think we're good now. There is like an old boat ramp, right? We got to clear. I'll be curious because yeah, there's a big old wooden boat ramp structure. It's not steel. It's not huge rocks. I think it'll break apart. It might break right through it. Yeah. Oh, all right. The front's going up. Is it? Just barely. We might have to roll this thing. What are you thinking, man? It's got to be right here. So I'm thinking we got we could do both lines now. Put this line on the rear wheel. Yeah. And then take the other one down and put it on the front wheel. Because it's already you already got all the stuff down there. We just need to bring another another line. I mean, it's got to be right there. Yeah, I should be. I'll, I could I could rearrange everything. I'll get ready, I'll get everything ready, and I'll hook up the rear line, come back, and then by the time I come back, just have that one pulled out for me. Okay. And then I'll, I'll go back down and hook it up to the rear. Give me that mic. Front. Man. No talking for you. I forgot it was there again. 
Are your comms dead? Probably, I hope. Not broken? Yeah, I hope it's dead, not broken. All right, so. I need more line. I'll pull more out, yeah, just tug on it. All right. All right, it's always lots of readjusting. It's kind of the fun part, though. Like this. Yes. Well, it's like this upside down, right? Yeah. And I got both of these hooked up. So I'm guessing if I pull on this one, it'll it'll turn it and eventually flip. That's what I was thinking. Take so losing. So your BC just broke. No, it didn't break. Or you lost some weight. One of my weight fell off. But you have a very old one. So if you guys are interested, we do have a BC. Is it on the wrecked and recovered wish list? No, it's on exploring with Nug. Well, maybe you should add it. The other add it stuff. to whatever wish list is in the description if anybody wants to feel friendly and help us out. I know you can use a new one. That is the best part of a dry suit. Breaking that seal. I think this is gonna work. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, did the car fall? So something broke off. That might have been the axle. Oh, yeah. yeah. Whatever broke, I could feel it under my legs. I don't know about you. I could smell something. But if you had the wheels like that, it might have flipped. I don't know, maybe that's not maybe... You should be able to feel it. Yeah, just if they're both tight, they're still on there. Dude, that felt weird. <laughs> I can't tell, bro. Man, I thought you were the foot whisperer. I think it's spun. <coughs> I know it's pulling this dock up with it. It's moving, right? Does it feel? Does it feel hung up? I think I think he broke that wood, cause I felt it below me. And we'll just keep going a little bit more. We'll see. It's like this. We're up here, but it's hooked onto this wheel and this wheel. So all it's doing is, you know, but if we change it, hook it on Y bridle on the other side, it'll just pull it right over. I say you keep pulling it, and it'll roll itself. Well, you're on these two wheels closest to us? Yeah, they're right here. So it's not, it's not really, it's... So you want to do these two to a Y? Yeah. Well, you want to go down there? I got to. One more time. This car's falling apart. Is it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's super rusty and old. <laughs> I mean, the wheels are almost ripped completely off. Are you serious? Yeah, I've got these cables through like frame parts. So, we've blown out one of the windows. I checked, I didn't see anything inside. Yeah. So the other ones are still intact, so it might still roll and we'll be all right. But that's that's all I got in this tank. So I mean, <laughs> it just doesn't work. I don't know what to do. Yeah. Man, I believe in you, Jeremy. It might you, roll. You, you got this. I'll limp it all the way out. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, a tow truck's gonna show up and be like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, I don't want that. Well, we're learning, we're learning. It's almost out. Did you it see flip? It? You see it? Yeah. Yeah, it flipped. It's on its wheels. I don't know how well you guys can see it. It's about to... It's about to come out. Look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> so it's on its wheels? Yeah. thing that's so cool it's so cool to see uh see a car come out of the water Three. yeah Three. What, wasn't that on the wire cable though i thought i had it looped through the frame like this so you ripped the frame part off oh, yes you, you, i did you had it tied to itself yeah you, was that bad you, yeah you can't do that dude. why not that's who says that's bad that ain't bad you're bad Let's do this. Hold that. Let's do this right here. Grab the wrong one. But right here. And then you, I guess, kind of keep some tension on it. You probably shouldn't stand on that side. I think it just ripped it off. The bumper? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. 
I thought you said it was on there good. I lied. That buffer's off. <laughs> All right. What's your plan B? Can you just hook it on the car? Keep hooking it on and see what happens. Oh. Hey, look at this thing. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm standing for. Man. Whoa. <laughs> well, what is that? It was the bumper absorber, I think. The shock absorber. Don't hit, the, don't hit the wire. Hit a rock. Hit a rock. Sorry. Oh, God. There we go. is being very stubborn it is almost out you can see it's been in there for a long long time i mean we'll clear it you're pretty good yeah it looks like there's stuff in there Bust the other window out. We'll bust. My lips are numb. <laughs> we'll bust the other window out. Put the J hook here on each side. Bring the chain underneath. Meet them in the middle, and then we'll hook the cables up. And that should, we should be able to pull it out. Maybe over all this thing. Yeah. Because we can undo the, we can undo our the, the, the wrecker cable, and we can just we can I guess pull those out later. So, I'd say loosen this. Man, look at that, smash that stuff. Ooh, you're gonna feel your boots up. Volvo. It right. held on. Let's do that. Slowly. Do the same thing? Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. Are you having fun? Yeah. <laughs> are, are you? You have them over. You think they'll take this car? Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can call old dude. He said call him anytime. We're gonna connect them together? Hell yeah, another sucker. Way down low. Woo! He's coming. Is that good? Ooh. Did that, it's, your wire loop's about to break. This is so stupid. I mean, this whole thing's about to just break apart. This thing never should have came out of the water. No. Look at this, guys. This is, it's literally falling apart. I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, this thing, <laughs> this, this thing was ready to die, man. Dude, this is a, get this, your, get this your, was the oldest car, dude. Oh my gosh. They destroyed this thing. Yeah. Uh, oh, God. I'm not seeing anything. You? It's a bunch of muck. You know, the inside's not horrible, but the outside, gosh. This thing is one foot out of the grave. A little bit, a little bit. I mean, there's no wheels left. I mean, that one's. Technically still on. <laughs> yeah, we should call. Let's call somebody. Call that tow guy and be like, hey. They we got a challenge for you, bro. Yeah. They were, they've all broke except one one little coil. I know. That's uh, impressive. I guess we better get another one. Better put that on the wish list. Oh, one of those, yeah. 
Oh yeah, that's not good. It's not good. Not at all. I think we should be able to limp it the rest of the way. Through, because now it's, 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 I don't know. It's broke free. Yeah, I think you can limp it. We're gonna have to pull the tow truck up more here in a minute. I mean, it's going up. It's not full mud, so it's not that heavy. Yeah, this is kind of uh, kind of painful. Normally, the cars would have their wheels in you know good condition and kind of roll up. There's no wheels left on this thing. There's barely any car left on this thing. Well, you're hitting the curb right here. It's like, it, it might be a little difficult. The tire is against, it's dropped off. See what I'm saying? It's such a mess. And that's just being wedged against it. Shit, dude, I guess we have to back up again. I mean, if you can just get that over it. Is that tire actually still on? <laughs> it looks like it. Muffler fell off. I mean, if you back down and just lift it up. That's what we're gonna have to do. Yeah. Well, you want me to do it? You want to. Besides, I'm all wet anyways. I know, you, I, I don't know why. You're soaking my seat up. I got it. You're gonna pull forward a little bit. The chalk. We mangled this car, dude. I can't believe we got this out. I'm not gonna lie to you. Do you wanna just leave it here and call call the tow company? Can't stop. Awesome, I appreciate it. Yep, yep. Alright, they're gonna come out. I, I think we should leave it right there actually. Yeah, I it's think up so. in the air, they can hook it on something. That flatbed will get under it and drag it up. I mean it won't be pretty, but let's call the police too now. Come we're on that plate. Man, that's... It took a while. I can't believe it worked. Damn, yeah, all dirty! All dirty! <laughs> How you doing? Cars out left and right. Do what? I said, y'all dragging cars out left and right. I, I know, yeah, yeah. I thought the Volkswagen was bad. We propped it up for you. That makes it easier. That was, that was really bad. Yeah, that's that's pretty bad. I feel bad for calling you, to be honest. With you. <laughs> this thing didn't want to come out. <laughs> yeah, I'll do hook it to that and pull it. Yeah, yeah. This is gonna be fun. Oh, this one's bad. You thought the Volt you thought the Volkswagen was bad. This one's bad. <laughs> Uh, this one's probably been down there longer than that. <laughs> oh yeah, that was rotting. This was probably one, the limit. Uh, every, all the wheels and everything are underneath the car. Like the axles. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. This is good. We had to go through the windows, back windows, and then underneath to a Y. Yeah, yeah. this is uh, this is the worst one we've ever had, I think. <laughs> the Volvo 200 series is a range of mid-sized cars produced from 1974 till 1993 with more than 2.8 million total units sold worldwide. A completely new engine had been developed for the 264, a V6 made entirely of aluminum, which became known as the PRV engine. How's it going? What's the VIN on it? That's a great question. I don't know if we'd be able to find a VIN because it's so corroded, but well, it had a dealer tag on it. Yeah, we had to look for the VIN. Dealer tag's not on file anymore. I, I didn't think it would be. the one on the windows of the, the door is still there. I'm going to go look. He might be able to. He might be able to. I got it, yeah. Record, I'll record to see if they can run it and come up with something. But obviously, I don't. It's, uh, yeah, this is one of the worst, probably the worst one we've ever seen, shape wise. I'm surprised we got it out this far. But I mean, the inside's actually oh, something you know, better than the outside, but it appears clear. 40 echo to records. 40 echo, go ahead. 
Yeah, that van that uh, 81 just ran. Um, probably an old car. It's an old Volvo. I'm not sure what year model it is. That's how come we're coming, coming up short with the VIN. Attached to it was an old Tennessee dealer's tag, Delta 20066. Uh, can you maybe run that and see if it comes up with anything? Yeah, we'll give it a shot. Yeah, this thing's been sitting at the bottom of the river for quite a long time. The dealer tag Delta 20066 is coming back not on file. Yeah, everything. It, it's been in the river so long, it's probably everything's outdated and been purged. I appreciate you trying, though. It's all yours. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave my boat ramp messed up. <laughs> we'll try. All that's right, guys. That's going to be a fun one. Yeah, it's going to be a fun one. <laughs> we'll see you guys. We appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate it. Can't wait to see this thing go up on this track. Yeah, Cedar Bluff Towing. If you guys live in Knoxville or around the area and need towing, use them. They were amazing helping us out. We really appreciate it. Here's their logo, their number, their phone number's down here. 623 Simmons Road. Or just go leave them a good review on their Facebook page, on their Yelp, Google reviews. Let them know how much we appreciate them. All right, man, so it was obviously the next day. It got really dark and late on us, but we got this car out even though it was in two pieces. I, you know, <laughs> we I don't know how we got it out because the tow company, when they was trying to load it up on the flatbed, they ripped this thing in half. Yeah, shout out to the tow company. They, those guys are amazing. Oh, yeah, you guys got to <laughs> send them a message on Facebook or something because they, uh, they, they I don't know what they're going to I guess they go straight to the dump with that thing. I mean, scrap value, I, I don't know, but regardless, we were really appreciative, and we, uh, we hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was a little bit different. Um, we didn't have a cameraman on this one. Yeah, tell us what you think because we didn't have a cameraman. We winged it ourselves. I think yeah. we did good, but uh, time will t time will time tell will in the tell. comments. This December's weird with all the holidays and and uh, Joe's off, you know, and, and doing his thing, and he'll be back in January. <coughs> and uh, we're gonna keep trying to get more episodes for you guys. We really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, you know, leave a comment. Let us know what you guys thought. What we could do better. Uh, you know, if, if he should uh, grow his beard out or not. Well, I mean, it's already out. I mean, how much more can I get? I look so old right now. I want you guys to critique Jeremy extremely hard. Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, is this is the ruggedness working for you? <laughs> it's working for me. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> also, we have Rick and Recovered merchandise, hats, and uh, shirts somewhere. Oh, you got a shirt on me. Yeah. I do have a shirt right there. That's pretty. And if you guys want to help support the channel, you know, there's a link in the description. You can get yourself some amazing merch. We really appreciate it. Also, check out our main channels, Exploring with Nug, uh -huh. Adam Brown Adventures. In yeah. Where are we going next? I think we're going to go find another car. I have no idea where. Another car? There's always a car. I'm thinking Charleston. So if you guys know where cars in Charleston. I bet they got good Mexican food in Charleston. They probably do. Oh, yeah, we're going to try and find that one. I don't know. All Leave right. a comment. Let us know. We'll we're see out. you guys. Whoa! Now a word from our sponsor, Exploring with Nug. <laughs> Do you have, do you find yourself with itchy bottom? <laughs> Get a bidet. So I do, I do. <laughs> I do, what do you got? I've got wet wipes. <laughs> Watch us get like a bidet sponsorship. Oh gosh, you know what, <laughs> I don't even care. I'll carry a Tampax send, sponsorship if it gives me the right amount of money. 50 bidets. 50 bidets and $50,000. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, bidet, I don't even care. <laughs> All right. Have a good day. Have a great day. Have a, good... Have a bud day. Oh, <laughs> you like that? I have a marketing background. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>